There is a big birthday to celebrate next month, 65 years of Prevention Magazine, and we're marking the occasion with a look at three of the biggest medical breakthroughs since that launch. Dr. Florence Comite is a prevention contributor and the lead physician of an article on personalized medicine featured in the anniversary issue that is out now. Doctor, good morning and happy anniversary to Prevention. Yes. Doctor. 1950 in June when it first uh, went on the newsstands, it cost only 25 cents. Now Prevention it has given us so much over the years. Absolutely, and it's the future of the country. This decade is about prevention. And, and the medical medicine. breakthroughs that we're talking about, yeah. specifically three of them. You've but. chosen three. Obviously, there have been a lot yeah, of yes. them. Let's start with the golden age of antibiotics, which we all take for granted. Wow. Oh, <laughs> with some sound <laughs> effect. That? that was a big breakthrough. Was, oh, oh, okay. Yes, major. It was major. It antibiotics. Keeps, it keeps us living longer lives, actually. So antibiotics was launched in 1950, and that decade was the golden age. Actually, that's when prevention started in 1950. Mm -hmm. We still use about 50% of antibiotics now that were launched then and discovered then. And before that, 5 to 10 women would die in childbirth. And then since then, we, we live longer lives, and women aren't dying like that due to infection and young people with infection don't die. So it's a big breakthrough. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, our next medical breakthrough is reproductive technology. Reproductive technologies, here you have it, this egg and the sperm and the zygote. Actually, IVF is a big one that everyone knows about, yeah. in vitro fertilization. Since the first baby was actually cloned, uh, Louise Brown in the UK in 1978, there have been 5 million live births around the world. Mm. And not only is it about IVF, but it's women who don't have ovaries who can get donor o eggs and make babies, live babies. What could be a greater gift than that? Or men who might have sperm hardwired with colon cancer, mm -hmm. and now you can pluck individual ones out and have a baby that's not going to grow up to have colon cancer. Help so many Incredible. families. The third one, what do we mean when we say personalized medicine? So personalized medicine, that's the big one. Obviously a profound change in the way we're going to practice. And as Obama mentioned in the State of the Union, precision medicine, which is the new term for personalized medicine, will change the way we practice medicine 180 degrees. Now we wait for someone to come to us as a doctor and we do standard battery of tests. Right. But it's not so simple. There's a lot underneath the surface that's lurking and we right. need to figure out what that is.